Welcome back everyone, Nick here from TV Box Top with another 1080p projector review. Today's model is from the brand GymTab called the GymTab M22. This model has Wi-Fi screen mirroring with no Bluetooth audio feature. So GymTab also included a solution which is the Bluetooth audio transmitter and receiver to transmit audio to your Bluetooth speakers and audio receivers. So to see how these two devices work together, stay tuned, my full review is up next. The M22 has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. It has an LED brightness of 5200 lumens. It has aspect ratios of 43 and 16 to 9. It has 4D digital vertical and horizontal keystone correction. It has a maximum viewing distance of 24 feet 7.3 meters which produces a 300 inches display. It has dual band 2.4 plus 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi screen mirroring and it has a built-in 5 watts 4 ohm speaker. Its contrast ratio and LED lamp life information is not listed anywhere on their website or in the manual. Welcome back. So in the box with the projector contains the M22 model itself. You get one infrared remote control, one heavy duty HDMI cable, one AC power cable, one auxiliary cable, a lint-free cleaning cloth, and a user manual. The contents of the Bluetooth transmitter will be revealed later in the video. The design of this model is pretty standard, with the entire body being made of plastic with the GymTab branding, an IR sensor, and a lens cover for the projector lens to the front. To its left contains one HDMI port, a USB 2.0 port, one auxiliary port, a headphone jack, a micro SD card slot, and its exhaust vent. To its right you will find its AC power socket and its intake vent. To its rear has a rear facing IR sensor, the vent for its internal speaker, and a vent for its internal cooling fan. At the top, you have manual controls and a focus adjustment wheel. And below this projector, you have four anti-skid rubber feet, screw holes for mounting to a ceiling mount, and a screw type kickstand. So I currently have it set on a projector stand at 8 feet 2.4 meters from my projector screen which produces a very clear 60 inches display with sharp edges. Its focus adjustment wheel is very sturdy allowing you to achieve the best focus. Let's now take a look at its interface. The M22 does not have a central main menu seen in most recent models. Instead, it starts with the input source selector where you can select between its various inputs and its screen mirroring mode. To access the settings area, you would have to press the menu button on the remote or use its manual controls. In the settings area under picture is where you can adjust its picture mode from a selection of presets or you can set your own user settings. You can change the color temperature, its aspect ratio, its noise reduction setting, its projection direction, and its zoom settings. Under sound settings, you can change its sound mode or you can set your own user treble and bass levels. It has an audio balance and an auto volume setting. Under options is where you can change the language. Restore to factory default settings. You have an on-screen menu transparency setting. Your on-screen duration timeout setting. You can set the blue screen on or off. The last option is your 4D digital keystone correction option. The last setting is your sleep timer setting. For playing media directly via its USB and micro SD card ports, you can successfully slide your photos, play music and even text documents. For the playback of videos, you are limited to 1080p 
and it can only decode DTS HD Master Audio and DTS X Audio formats. It cannot decode Dolby Atmos and Dolby Surround. Signify the commitment. So help me, Thomas. Sorry, sorry. Life or death situation. I need you to use the ring to save me, like right now. Snow Maga. Every night, I dream the same dream. Pairing your mobile device to this projector is fairly straightforward. You simply open the screen mirroring option and pressing the OK button you can switch between Android and iOS. Then using an appropriate screen mirroring app, scan for the GymTab M22 from the list of detected devices and pair to it. Please note, not all Wi-Fi screen mirroring apps will work as you have to install one that supports screen mirroring or all sharecasts depending on the device you are using. Here I'm using a new app called TVCast and is the only one that's compatible with this projector as my regular Mercast app could not connect. Well, that's all for its ability to play media via its USB, micro SD card, and Wi Fi screen mirroring. These come in handy at parties, weddings, funerals, family gatherings, office presentations, and other occasions where you have to showcase self hosted videos, photos, and office documents. However, projectors are now being used in our homes as part of our home entertainment system to watch movies and play games. These activities require the projector to be compatible with official HDMI devices that sometimes have HDCP protection to protect against piracy. The M22 is compatible with official streaming devices such as the Google Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV Stick and even gaming consoles. Here I connected the Amazon Fire TV Cube running the official Netflix app and it plays movies without being blocked or having its audio muted due to HDCP protection. This means you can connect any official streaming device and it will work without issues. Here I connected an Android TV box and you can use it to stream movies and TV shows from your favorite apps such as Kodi and other streaming APKs. If you have 4K videos stored on external storage, you can play them on the TV box and the projector will downscale the signal to 1080p. So I'll now play some 4K videos for a demonstration and I'll also test the audio from its internal speaker. If 
you are interested in gaming, you can connect your gaming console via HDMI without latency issues. As mentioned earlier, this projector does not have Bluetooth audio for your Bluetooth speakers and audio receivers, so GymTab has a separate Bluetooth device called the GymTab M21 NFC Bluetooth Wireless Receiver and Transmitter. With this device, you can transmit the projector's audio via the headphone jack to your Bluetooth speakers or surround the sound receiver. It does this automatically by searching for nearby compatible devices and peering to it. For more information about this device, see the link in the description below this video as it is also sold separately. Here I connected the M21 transmitter to my 7.1 audio receiver and it plays audio without a latency. used for battle. Now they're but humble tools for peace. I need to figure out exactly who I am. I will choose my own path. Live in the moment. For fan noise, the M22 is a bit on the loud side, generating 51 decibels of noise, which is above the average of around 46. In summary, for what it's worth, the M22 has great range, sturdy focus adjustment and bright lumens. Wi-Fi screen mirroring for Android and iOS devices works smoothly, and its internal speaker is powerful and delivers great audio. With that said, it does not have built-in Bluetooth audio which require a separate audio transmitter, and its fan noise is a bit on the loud side. So this brings to an end of my review. If you are interested in this projector or its Bluetooth transmitter, you can get it on Amazon using the link in the description directly below this video. So give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. If this is the first time viewing one of my videos, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button along with the notifications bell to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, stay tuned and see you in the next one.